today's video i would like to show you a very nice quadratic equation satisfy this both conditions okay for all a as a positive free numbers such that we have a cubed which equals six is multiplied by a plus number one so here is the following equation we get x squared plus a x plus a squared minus six equals zero okay <clears throat> so the question we are going to prove this equation has no real solution okay in the other word this equation is accepted the solution in complex numbers okay we are saying this equation has no real solutions which means the discriminant of this one must be negative okay now let's get calculated the delta of this form quadratic phenomenon so we get delta is going to give us e squared minus four times is multiplied by e squared minus six okay by simplifying this one out I get here minus 3a squared plus 24 if this equation accepts no solution which means this delta must be negative okay so let's simplify this one more so I get here 24 is strictly inferior than 3a squared implies 8 is inferior equal to a squared in the other word a must be strictly superior than 2 square root of 2 okay we need to prove this one a must be strictly superior than 2 square root of 2 okay if we prove this one which means we are done okay so the best way to do this one i'm going to do that by the way of contradiction okay so by the way of contradiction suppose a must be inferior equal to 2 square root of 2 okay so since we have a is a real positive number so which means let's put the case number one and case number two case number one so i will have zero is strictly inferior than a a is strictly inferior than square root of six the case number two i will have square root of six must be inferior equal to a and a is inferior equal to two square root of two okay so what I have done here, I have divided this one into two intervals, okay? So from 0 to square root of 6, and from square root of 6 to 2 square root of 2, okay? Before we prove that, I'm going to make some change in, in the first equation. So we get here a cubed, which equals 6, is multiplied by a plus number 1. So I will have 6a plus 6. Let's bring the 6a to the left and take a as a common factor. I get a factor a square minus minus 6 which equals 6 okay i have ended with this nice equation so starting with this one starting with this one so i get a square here we know this one is already positive i get 6 here then i'm going to subtract minus 6 on both sides so it's going to give us a square minus 6 which is strictly inferior than 0 okay then multiply both sides by a so i will have a factor a square minus six which is strictly inferior than zero taking this equation and replace it with number six here so which means i get six is strictly inferior than zero it's strictly it's impossible it's impossible we found the contradiction number one let's move on to the case number two okay so doing the same thing square both sides so i get six is inferior equal to a square is inferior equal to eight okay then taking minus six on both sides so i get here zero is inferior equal to a square minus six which is inferior equal to two <coughs> taking this one and multiply it by this one so i i get here zero is inferior equal to a factor a square minus six which is inferior equal to four square root of two okay if we evaluate this one we will find this one is strictly inferior than six okay which means i get here i get here a factor a square minus six which is strictly inferior than six we know this one equals six also it's impossible 
So we have found the so we found the contradiction number two here. So we'll have both statements are false, which means this one is true. If the, if this one is true, which means this one delta is negative. If delta is negative, which means the equation has no real solutions. Okay, is accepted the solution in complex numbers. Okay, so I have done this problem. Thank you for watching. I will see you next video. Bye.